Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to fix this PC can't run Windows 11. If you are getting incompatibility error during installation when you are installing Windows 11 on your system, then you can try this tutorial. I am sure this method will definitely help to install Windows 11 on legacy bias based computer without TPM 2.0 and without secure boot. Before continue, make sure you have these three following things. Windows 10 and Windows 11 ISO file, you can download it from Microsoft's official website. An empty USB flash drive, at least 8 GB of capacities, and ROFOS to create a bootable USB flash drive. Ok, now let's take a closer look at the procedure. At first, we need to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. Now insert your USB flash drive to your computer's USB port. After that, launch the ROFOS. Now select your USB drive. After that, select Windows 10 ISO file. Select Partition Scheme MBR and Target System Type BIOS. And File System, select NTFS. Once done, click on Start. Read the warning message about your USB drive and click OK to continue. Now wait until the process is completed. Ok, after completing the process, open your Windows 10 bootable USB drive. And open the sources folder and find for install.wam or install.esd file. Once you found, just simply delete it from sources folder. After that, mount the Windows 11 ISO file by simply double click on it. Once done, navigate to the sources folder. After that, locate the install.wim or install.esd file. Once you found, copy this file. Now simply paste this file inside the sources folder of your Windows 10 Bootable USB drive. Alright, now this bootable USB drive is completely ready to boot from that. Ok, let me show you. Ok, as you can see, the option to select and install a Windows 11 version. Now select your version and click next. Alright, as you can see that there is no more error message is being displayed about this VC can't run Windows 11. 
now accept the license terms and click next to continue now select custom and advanced option after that select your drive where you want to install windows 11 and click next however i already installed this windows 11 on this pc by following this method so i am not doing it again Once the installation process is completed, just run the Windows update for necessary quality updates, device driver and software. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.